Let's get all caught back up to speed where we're at. I've done some Slayer stuff, some low level, low level things, uh, and then uh, smithing break again before moving over to the uh, the next Slayer Master in Lumbridge, where I realized that I need uh, a light source for the uh, the the cave in the in the Lumbridge swamp. So I started doing fire making so that I would be able to use the lantern that I bought from the, the Slayer Master. Not realizing that uh, I, I, I can't use it. I, I got 33 in fire making to, to be able to use the, the lantern, but uh, it, it doesn't work. I am not really sure why, but it, it doesn't. So I had to go to the Catherby and, and buy a candle. And that, that that made it work, so now I can go down there. After that, I was back to mining again. Hello and welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man series, episode 2. So where we are at at this point is uh, we have 22 in attack, 22 in strength, 23 in defense, and 15 in prayer. Those are uh, some uh, combat levels that we've gotten through the uh, through the Slayer tasks, and we have 50 in mining and 46 in smithing. Did I mention that I like the the mining and smithing in this game? It, it's really satisfying for some reason. Like I, I I really really enjoy it, and it's probably something that I'm gonna do a lot on on just my my downtime when I when I don't really. When I can't really record too much, so sometimes I I can't, I can't sit here and talk while while recording. So uh, sometimes I'll I'll just have to make a, a little bit of of a of a post commentary stuff on on some of the clips. Anyway, um, I've gotten a lot of uh, suggestions from uh, from you guys uh, between episodes, and overwhelmingly people say that uh, that quests is kind of where I should start at um, for the most part and I've also gotten a, a, some really really good um, suggestions for the uh, to preserve the the hardcore status basically try to get the the ring of life uh, divine coins and and some stuff like that that we will touch upon when when it becomes uh, relevant uh, I should say because we we need to we need we need to get to work to, to get to get there like um the ring of life for example requires like 57 or something in magic and and 47 i think in crafting and uh, we we're not anywhere close to that the divine coins we can just buy uh, one of when we have a total level of a thousand and we're at 375 now so but, but 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 all of that that will come in time we we will go through a bit more of that when 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 it becomes relevant but for today we're going to do some uh, some questing but uh, also first of all we have a a challenge today to do some divination and i haven't touched on divination at all so let's start with uh, learning how to do some some divination just south of Draenor Village, we have the Divination Tutors. Right, so we, we need to gather memories from, from the Wisps. So we, we just, like, Pale Wisps are the, the first one. Um, you find 31 strands. You can use that to, to teleport somewhere. What, what did it say? You can teleport the to the memorial to Guthrex. Okay, cool. We, we'll do that in a, in a little while. Right, so we pick up uh, energy, uh, pale memories, and the, the strands, but we can convert the memories here. Let's see what happens if we teleport to this place. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. That's a very lush place. Cool. Is this like south of Pis Piscatoris or something? Where, where is this? On yeah, it is. Oh, okay. So this is the memorial to uh, to Guthix. Okay, cool. So it's a pretty good summary of the of the divination. It seems like so. I need to use the plinths to uh, get hints about where to find the engrams. Then charge the engrams with the memory strands and divine energy. Then give them to. 
to uh, uh, Orla and uh, she will add it to the pool and that will that will charge the the echoes or what whatever in here like it, it's a bit confusing but so we we got an engram you make charge this engram for an increased connection to its echo it will require 500 pale energy and 80 strands okay well we we don't have that that much pale energy yet that's I mean, th this place looks amazing, and and a very interesting, interesting skill, uh, I have to say. So we we we're gonna be able to uh, to get the the echoes of of uh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what the echoes are. Like, are, are they creatures or or something that will or like spirits of of something that that will appear on on these when we when we do this. Is it a little bit confusing, but but it sounds very very cool. I um, I like that. I like that. And since we're so close, uh, I go down here and and activate the Eagle's Peak lo lodestone so that we can uh, teleport here easier. I'm also gonna go into the uh, the gnome stronghold here and uh, do my next challenge for the day, which is. Uh, uh do two laps of an agility course i need 61 agility to get okay i have to go around dang it i gotta just say again that i i really love the the look of this game i, I think it looks fantastic like the 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 world and everything just yeah it, it's so cool so i'm i'm oh there's the waterfall as well and the yeah wow okay we we we're gonna get to that waterfall later. I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna do a couple of laps here and, uh, and get our agility up a little bit more. All right, that's eighteen in agility, and that unlocks the watchtower wall, wall climb shortcut, which sadly is the the best way to train at this point. Um, we're, we're gonna continue with that at some point. Now, uh, let let's go do a quest. So let's get the uh, the waterfall quest done first, since we're already here. Hello, Huden. You need some help. He 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 does not want my help. There we go. We got through that that stupid maze, and now we need to go in and find a key. In here somewhere. Oh, I found a key. Come on, let's run. Help the, the, the guy out. Okay, we got the pebble. Oh, now for the uh, the dangerous part of this, which shouldn't be too bad, I feel like. We we already have a 20, 24 in constitution, so we should be fine, I think. I found nothing. Oh, yeah, we, we okay, we have the, the amulet. We should be able to drop it and pick up another one. Yep. Take that one. Although we have two of them. We're going to need uh, need that for, for later. So we might as well just pick that up now while we're at it. And now we just need to go to the, uh, to the tomb here. And we got the urn. Now we can just run back up. Yeah, it was not not dif difficult at all here. Probably because the the skeletons are attacking me. The oh, the are the must giants are only twenty four. Maybe maybe they don't even attack me at this point. <laughs> I mean, we we're only twenty eight, so I feel like they should. But yeah, what do I know? All right, down the raft we go again. And now we need to use the, the rope on this rock. Now we... Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, that's some nice animations. That's cool. There we go. There's my key. Let's get out of here. Hey, <laughs> waterfall quest done. Nice.
Got a bunch of attack and strength experience. Two gold bars, two diamonds. That's nice. And uh, 40 mithril seeds. And we got access to this dungeon as well. Nice. We are up to 33 in both attack and strength. That is uh, is pretty cool. That, that means that we can actually start using uh, uh, mithril weapons now. So I think from now on... I'm probably just gonna follow the uh, the Pathfinder and just do the the quests in order, uh, really, unless something else pops up. I, I kind of wanted to get into rune crafting and check that out. I'm not sure if I actually need to do the quest for that in in this game, but um, I would kind of want to do that. But uh, let's start off with the the cook's assistant first. And there we go with some extra fine flour that that of course we need for the for the extra fine cake that we're gonna make. I, I wonder where the uh, the chickens are though. Are there chickens here? No. They they they've been moved around a little bit. They they are um, on the other side of the the river though. I know that. But we we can go here and milk maybe. Yeah, that's just normal milk. Dang it! Ooh, there's a a super large egg. We need you. Thank yep. Also, what the hell is this? A ticket vendor. What what are you? He hands me a ticket. Oh, what what is going on? I don't want to be here. Oh, there we have her. The prized dairy cow. You gotta have some special milk for me. Right? There we go. Top quality milk. There you go, buddy. We we have all of the stuff. But we got the, the, the quest done. Next in line is uh, the Restless Ghost. So let's see what we can do here. So Father Eric, w a Eric whatever, <laughs> wants us to get rid of a ghost. And we need to talk to a ghost expert in the the swamp and i think he is the one in that house father er er erne yeah he's kind enough to give us a, a ghost speak amulet so that we can we can talk to this ghost Ooh, hello he needs to get his skull back so that his his real body can be complete he said that he lost it in in while mining but is it here or oh, maybe behind those those loose rocks Ooh. Okay. <laughs> and now he's free and uh, we are done with the restless ghost. Okay. We got, we got a prayer lamp, five ancient bones that gives uh oh, will give us uh, a thousand prayer as well. Nice. Right, let's uh, help uh, Fred the farmer with his uh, his his issues here. Um, it's a mini quest, actually. Uh, sheep shearer, it's been downgraded apparently. Right, so he wants uh, black wool only um, to be 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 spun for him. So we will just uh, go assault his his black sheep. I guess. He turned white. That that's not, that's not how how it were. I also have absolutely no idea how many he wants, so I'm I'm just making twenty. Do, do we have a spinny thing here, or do we need to go back to? Oh yeah, it's here. All right, Fred, I'm done with my my job. Here, oh we actually wanted twenty. Nice. A little bit of crafting and two thousand coins. Sweet. Crafting level 10. And now time for another smithing and mining break. Hell ye. And that is 60 in mining. And we also have 60 in uh, in uh, smithing. Mining and smithing follow each other way better in this game than um, old school runescape, I feel like. But uh, I've, I've also made the, the burial sets, which gives me more... 
mining or a smithing experience, I mean, uh, rather than, than selling the stuff, which uh, has probably done some some stuff to 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 uh, help with that as well but uh yeah now, now we're invited to go into the to the mining guild here which is uh, really nice especially for rune knight right now and uh, um the oracle site that we're that we need to get um to continue as well but we do need to go and get some some uh, what, what was it called the draggy the draggy dracolith dracolith uh, we need that to um, mix with the oracle site site and for that we need to go down here but we need a 45 in dungeoneering to be able to to plop down into to this um this mine so we we have that to work on as well. I, I've also seen one of the things that I wanna wanna try to go for also involves uh, dungeoneering, which is um, the bone crusher thingy that uh, that you can have in your pocket slot that uh, automatically bury bones for you. I, I feel like that that would be a really good thing to have. But uh, we need like 21 or so in Dungeoneering and, and a lot of uh, uh, like Dungeoneering tokens as well. And from from what they say on the wiki, if you do the normal Dungeoneering floors and whatnot only to get the, the tokens, you, you'll end up with like 62 or something in Dungeoneering before you have enough tokens to buy it. Which seems a little bit weird. I, I don't really know how to how to get tokens in in, in any other way. But yeah, I've, I've uh, lately I've been working on my my respect and and whatnot in the in the uh, uh, what is this place even called the artisan workshop. I'm not uh, not a hundred percent sure what I want to end up buying from from this, but um, I mean we we can get some just normal experience upgrades i guess from doing the burial sets and whatnot but i haven't really decided what to do with that but um, at the same time we're, we're kind of ahead in uh, in smithing and mining at this point so i don't really feel like we we need to focus on that at this point um i am gonna instead of having this as my like a afk like mobile thing to do uh, when uh, when i'm bored I'm uh, I'm not gonna do mining and smithing for a bit. I'm actually gonna have to switch that out to something else that will also be very useful. But um, yeah, something else that we need to do. And those skills are gonna be fishing and cooking, which I'm just gonna kind of work on on the side because those are kind of not not super important. Or well, I mean they are super important, but they're not super interesting. But um. For right now, let's uh, tackle Demon Slayer and see what, uh, what what we can get from this. So we need to stop the summoning of a uh, of the demon Delrith, and for well, we're doing that we need the uh, the silver light sword, which is apparently that one, and we need to pass some tests with uh, these uh, spirits to be able to get it. All right, th those trials were super super easy. Like they they just. It, yeah, that, that that was barely trials. Dang it! Finally, after working so hard, it took me probably two minutes to do all of the trials. Ooh! Oh, he's. I, I thought it would be bigger. <laughs> I felt like they built this up for him to look cooler than he 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 does. I mean, he he still looks kind of cool but I feel like he should have been a little bit bigger oh oh god I was <laughs> I was so close to dying dear lord <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh that, that was stupid okay I, I almost died <laughs> Oh, this does not bode well. Three combat lamps and uh, a silver light. And we get the uh, Avernic wand and book. And three quest points. Neato. 
So after that scare, I'm just gonna take it easy and uh, just kick back, relax, and have some uh, some fishing and cooking. And uh, uh, next time we will we will continue with the uh, with more quests and and may maybe other stuff. We, we, I, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please uh, don't uh, forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the the show. And uh, I'll see you in the in the next one. Bye-bye.